Hi everyone, welcome to the next and the last spotter of the day, the 7 to 11 series that we conducted today of 5 spotters in 5 hours. And now we are going to talk about this last image. All the three images are practically the same tumor, but I've got you different images so that you are uh, well aware of what all variations can come in the exam. So if I highlight these cells, it's all about the cells. There are two things that I'm seeing over here. I'm first and foremost seeing a lot of bluish color material, which could be something like a mucin or a mucopolysaccharide. But what is more characteristic than that are the cells. If I focus on these cells, if I look at a little higher power and a further higher power, I do analyze that in these cells, yes, there is a nucleus like any other cell has. But apart from that, the cytoplasm is very vacuolated and bubbly. That is how you are going to define it. So basically, these cells have a bubbly cytoplasm. And these cells are given a name. What is the name given to these cells? I think by looking at them, first you'll ask me that, okay, if this is a tumor, what is the location of this tumor? So let me tell you, this tumor is a tumor known as chordoma. As the word suggests, when you're talking about a chordoma, the origin of the tumor somewhere becomes very evident. And this is arising from the notochord remnants. So the tumor arises from the notochord remnant. So obviously the site is going to be where the notochord remnants can be. So the location is either going to be the clivus or the new location is going to be the sacrococcygeal region. So these are the two places where the site of the tumor will be given. The sacrococcygeal region being a favorite with the examiners. And when you look at it under the microscope, the cells are going to show you bubbly cytoplasm. And do you know what is the name given to these cells? These are known as the physeliferous cells. So if something like this is mentioned in the paper regarding physeliferous cells or this picture with bubbly cytoplasm, this being one of the locations, you know you're dealing with a chordoma. So your next question would be that what is the gene mutation that you see? There is something known as the brachyuri. Brachyuri or the T gene mutation, which happens to be on chromosome 6, the brachyuri gene mutation is noted as a result of which if someone asks you that what is the immunohistochemistry with which it is going to be positive, the immunohistochemistry is also that is brachyuri positive. I think everyone knows what is immunohistochemistry. It's a brown color stain. So when I did in this tumor immunohistochemistry with brachyuri, I could see that the cells were coming brown in color. Well, that's something you can expect in the INICET. So why not attempt a question related to it? So for example, if they ask you there's a 56-year-old male patient with a 6.2 centimeter sacral mass, I told you, clivus or sacrococcygeal would be there. And these images are classically showing me the physeliferous cells, right? These are the cells with the bubbly cytoplasm or the physeliferous cells. Now, they are asking you which of the following is true about the entity. Is it histologically consistent with the chordoma? Histologically means with the slide. Yes, it is physeliferous cells. It is consistent with the chordoma. Can it show positivity for brachyuri? I know that. Does it show brachyuri gene involvement? That is also correct. Does it arise from the notochordal remnants? Perfect. So this means all of the following statements are true about this entity. Well, that's a question that you can expect in your future NEET PG and INICET exam, that is Cordoma, with which we wrap up the spotter fest for the day. A similar spotter fest 7 to 11 will also be conducted tomorrow on the YouTube channel. So I'm hoping that all of you are a part of that. And apart from that, that is the evening spotter fest, right? So apart from that, we also have a class early morning at 7.30 where we are going to discuss MCQs. Looking forward to seeing you in both these classes. Thank you and good night.